Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you the Wavetable LFO, a recent addition to Drumbo, and it's really great news. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm in the standalone version of Drumbo and I just created a new project. Let's click on the plus sign and let's add under generator a Wavetable oscillator and I will add quickly also an ADSR. Perfect. As you know, you have seen these uh, hopefully before. If you are not familiar with the Wavetable Oscillator, go back to one of my previous tutorials where I explained how to use it. Now, you, let's change the um, Wavetable here. Something different. That one will do. And as you know, you can change the position here through the Wavetable using the position dial. What you also know is that you can also add effects here, like so. Uh, for example, you can say, let's go to a wave effect. And then, for example, you can say, I add a fold effect, like so. Now, in the past, so far, if you wanted to modulate, for example, the position here, the dial, what you would do, you go under modulator, and then you would add an LFO, a mini LFO, etc etc a lot of different uh, uh, modules that you can add but now you have the selection of a wavetable lfo as you can see it's very similar in terms of ui to the wavetable oscillator so the great thing is that it's an lfo which is using wavetables which of course you can choose here as you would choose uh, them from the wavetable oscillator so you still have positioning for the position on the wavetable the phase adjustment the frequency and adjustment you can have it sync or not like so you still have cross fade but then instead of having this edit here which allows you to go to the detune it and blend what you have is a smooth running of course let's decrease the frequency a little bit like so and then you have a mode which at the moment is free but for example, you can have it based on a different time input, which you can set up yourself. And, and it, that is very useful because you can also scale time, shift time, and things like that. Or you can use gate. And as you press the gate, it will restart, as you can see, uh, the play of the waveform. Okay, as you also know, from the wavetable oscillator, you can also, um, for example, um, add effect, which I just show you there. And you could also do the same here as well on the way table LFO, which is really, really nice. But let's keep it simple for these first two tutorials. So let's click on the position and connect that to the way table LFO. And let's increase the amplitude. And you can see now it is actually changing based on the shape that is coming from the way table LFO. Really, really nice. <laughs> And you could do the same, for example, for the amount here on the wave effect. So you drive that in, in the same similar way. And of course, you can continue like that. Let's choose a different uh, um, wave table, like that one. Let's try. <laughs> really nice aggressive uh, uh, type of preset really nice but the beauty is that you can continue like that so for example you can say well i want to modulate the position of the weight table in, in the lfo with another weight table lfo brilliant so let's do that like so <laughs> And maybe do something different in terms of weight table on this second wave LFO. And so on and so forth. You can create some really, really nice effects. So it's so great. And it's a great addition. Combination of the oscillator and LFO weight table is what we have been um, waiting for. Let's add um, a chorus and then also let's add... Um, a reverb as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's add, for example, an analog filter just to make it a little bit less aggressive. And so on and so forth. I'm going to stop here because I could spend uh, hours just using the combination of the two. I think this is a fantastic addition to Drumbo. Okay, as always, see you next time. Bye.